When it's time to close the books, you'll find the fully integrated books to tax to take you from closed books to a final tax return. So again, under the suitcase or accountant toolbox there, accountant tools, books to tax. Here's the getting started page where you can choose the particular entity type and we'll go ahead and map most of the accounts for you just by clicking map my clients data. You have several options, 1040, 1065, 1120, and 1120S. I'm going to leave it for 1040. As you can see, QBO has mapped most of my accounts, but some remain unmapped, and it's as simple as just clicking and then choosing the appropriate uh, line that would go on the tax return. Once all accounts are mapped, you would see the ending balances that will go to the tax return, and then you can click Post to Tax Return to post the balances to the fields in Intuit Tax Online. The Intuit Tax Online program will open in a different window, and you'll be brought to the Profile page. You can also go to the Input Return window to check the return, as well as file the return from here. As you scroll down, you'll see the Book to Tax Imports and how all the balances came over from QuickBooks Online into Intuit Tax Online. Have a great day.